Welcome to HelpForAccess.com, Microsoft Access Premium Consulting Services. Today, we're going to demonstrate that a single Microsoft Access database application can run simultaneously on an iPad 2, an iPhone, and in the cloud, all simultaneously and seamlessly. This demo is not an illusion or magic. Everything you see here today is written only in Microsoft Access. Helpforaccess.com's consulting practice has handcrafted this database application specific for mobile devices and remote access. This is the PC version of the application connected to an Access database. The purpose of the database application, which resides on a server on the cloud, is to provide emergency response personnel that are located around the world vital support access to maps, phone numbers, contacts, buildings, building layouts, traffic reports, etc. All the information they need to coordinate a relief effort in a crisis, fire, earthquake, tornado, or terrorist attack. This demo proves that a single Microsoft Access database can provide a single source of data made available through an iPad, iPhone, or personal computer, all connected to the same centralized uh, Microsoft Access database. The application's navigation, critical management, recovery team, facility team, is specifically built to help navigate the emergency response personnel quickly to the data they need in order to effectively respond to a particular emergency. This screen is in the back office Microsoft Access database part of the application and is used primarily for data entry and other administrative functions. The same database is available from the iPhone or iPad 2. For demonstration purposes, I'll demo the iPad 2 version. Now I'm going to switch to the iPod 2 and show you how we've implemented the application on the iPad. But first, let me click on Rapid Data. This is the data that we're going to show in the iPad 2. Currently, we're still looking at it in the uh, back office PC application. This is the this is a split screen showing both the iPad 2 on the left hand side and the PC version of the application on the right that currently resides on, on the server, both connected to the same database. What I wanted to show here is that the menu the menuing on the on the right has been created on in the iPod and iPhone version by creating queries that give the user access to the data, the same data that they would get from an application. This is the so we have my agility site, which is my agility site here under communication. And tenant company here is C tenant company right here. If you click on one of the tables, it naturally opens up on the right. And just like on an iPad, uh, an iPhone, if you if you if you swivel the application, it, it'll it'll function. The, it'll swivel swivel. So now that I've shown you how the navigation works, but let's show. I'm going to show you how you can drill into a building, uh, into a particular table, and follow the re relationships automatically drill down. If we click on building, you see all the list of buildings. If you click on a particular building, it'll show you the references within that building. And it, so here, an emergency response person could choose for building 1301 Avenue of America, which diagram they want, which document they would like to look at: the prints of fire protection, the riser diagram, emergency access, emer emergency action plan, the BIC or the crisis management plan. Let's look at the crisis management plan. When we click on the crisis management plan, it goes to that particular record and we have a URL now that we can click on and open it up. And it opens up in Safari. To get back to the application, we simply double click 
and go back into it. We can look at other, we can drill down from say state, say we're, we can start with state, go into New York City and look at the, uh, and, and look at a URL and open a URL for New York. Again, double click to get back to the application. And so navigation is very intuitive and it's very much it's it's the same as if you were using an iPhone. Now let's go through some of the queries. The first query is a query that opens up a URL. No need to go there. Parent then the second query lists a, a bunch of uh, the employees uh, for this uh, group. Uh, tenant company lists the companies that are associated, tenant employees, and buildings. Again, back to buildings, you can select a particular building, see the address, very intuitive. General response plans lists the plans that are that a uh, emergency response person might need if in a case there was a natural disaster, say a, a wild wildfire, they click on wildfire, open up the document and it'll show them immediately that this is what that these are the thing the steps that they should follow. Very powerful, very very quick. Again double click to get back to the application. Government sites, maps, all this very quick if you very easy to get to, very intuitive in an, in a in a quick uh, in a an emergency, someone could grab their i if they all they had was their iPhone, they would be able to find a map, find a URL quickly, open it up, get the information they need. Get back to the application, find an employee or a, or a <coughs> A tenant employee and get the phone numbers that they need to make phone calls. So the power of the application is is in getting data quickly and easily and in, into the user's hands. The this is just a Microsoft Access database, and it works both on the iPad 2, the iPhone and in the cloud, all, in, all against the same database. That concludes our demonstration of an Access database running on an iPad 2. The exact same application will run without any changes on an iPhone. Look for our next video where we'll demonstrate a Microsoft Access database data input screens, the forms in an Access database running on an iPad 2 too. Thank you.